We are in the second hour of our holiday morning edition, almost at sporting edition, thinking of Friday. I wonder why. Uh, as uh, we, we get going into the second half of our program and, and put a uh, focus on uh, this Republic Day, on an aspect of our culture uh, that many of us don't really see as culture film and the film industry and why are we talking about it obviously many of you would be aware that we are in the midst uh, of uh, the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival 2012 and uh, we are focusing on uh, a couple of, uh, of films locally produced films during the course of this hour and talking about what's involved what does it mean what does it reflect about life in Trinidad and Tobago or is it just a photocopy of what they do in the United States or, or, or in London or Bollywood or wherever it is they do what they do well in our first segment, we want to focus on a particular movie in which Wendy Phillips' life spirals out of control after the sudden departure of her fiancé. I'm supposed to say, tan, 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 tan. <laughs> uh, forced to move back in with her parents, Wendy hopes uh, that landing a job with uh, famed TV presenter Simone Simone Davies will help her get back on her feet. Simone, however, has other plans for Wendy. It sounds like a recipe for bacchanal, <laughs> shall we? Shall we say? Well, uh, to, should I say lights, camera, action? As we get going now with uh, this segment with our two guests, Heidi Walcott, aspiring uh, actress, and uh, Sean. Hodgkinson, writer, director of A Story About Wendy. Very good morning to you. Good to have good both of you on uh, the program. Thanks and tell me something. I understand that the first viewing of this, of this movie uh, was on Saturday. Yes. And it sold out within an hour of, of tickets becoming tickets available. Tickets on, on Wednesday. On Wednesday and and within an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how, how that happened? I mean, I mean you, you, you have it made already then? <laughs> no, I think since the start of production, we've been sharing our experiences. When we had a, we had a Facebook page, and we've been sharing the experience of, of going through the production with with I guess the fans, and I guess just word of mouth that we've built a fan base that was maybe sort of rabid for this, and they they came out. The, I mean, uh, and, and Heidi, as, as actress, as as lead actress in this thing, do you, do you feel? under pressure now because I mean yes. thanks to Facebook, thanks to the social <laughs> network, thanks to all of this where all your business out there already, all, 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 everybody knows what, what, what to expect that the, now you're waiting for the reviews oh, with no. some degree of anxiety? <laughs> yes, lots of anxiety. I mean the whole experience has been completely surreal from beginning to end. I don't think anyone really truly understands how much work goes into it from pre-production, rehearsals and then you know taping, filming and then the I, the post-production is just, it's intense. So sometimes when it's like five in the morning and then we're exhausted and then you have to just put your best work forward, I mean, the last thing you want is people to come to the film and be like, hmm, you know? So yeah. yes, there's a lot of anxiety. I'm nervous about it, but we're also excited because we put a, you know, it's a lot put, of hard work. Yeah, you yeah. Put, put everything into it. Uh, and, 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 and Sean Hodgkins, from, from a writer-director's perspective, and I see you have the little badge, Go Local. <laughs> uh, 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 you're too young to remember the Buy Local campaign in, in the 1970s. Uh, it was a big deal about, about buying local, and now we find ourselves in 2012 with uh, people involved in the film industry urging us uh, to go local. Tell us a, a little bit about yourself. Why did you choose to go into this this aspect of a career? I don't think I chose it. I think it chose me. Um, as a child, I used to make these really crappy horror <laughs> movies with my father's camera. And I went to school. My degree is actually in geography and environment. OK. So and yeah, so yeah, that perfectly <laughs> set you up for, to, to, to be a, a writer and a, a director. And um, life meanders. And I ended up doing a workshop in media production. And uh, I was hired right after that. And I was able to, in my mind, I always had this story I wanted to tell. And I was able to write. I used to write in school, too. So I was able to write it. And the Trinidad Tobago Film Company had a PSD program where they provided funding for local films. I was a recipient of that. And I, maybe I was too scared to direct. Mm. I think fear is the greatest fear of all. And they, a guy called Dion Bucot uh, at the film company said, no, this is your story. You should direct it. And thanks to them, well, I'm here now. Mm. And, and how? how how has that road been so far? Has it been filled with potholes, as with many roads in Trinidad and Tobago? Like sinkholes. Um, <laughs> it, you have to give your all. You have to give a thousand percent. And it's not just me. I know like Heidi and I are in front of the TV talking, but there's so many people behind the scenes 
who worked with us, who supported us, who let us come and trample through their homes and shoot for 20, 40, just crazy hours and were dedicated to this project, who believed in us. And, and that's what we're grateful for. I mean, I wish more corporate companies supported us so we could actually earn a living. Uh, one such company was Trini Chicken from Canupia. Oh, they, yeah. they were fantastic. They were fantastic. Uh, our makeup artist walked in and said, listen, I'm in this film. Would you guys help us out? And they said, sure. And they believed in, in that, in product placement, in, in a brand mention, that they would benefit from that. And I wish more people understood that. You know, it is possible. People care about that. And they'll and, respond to it. And, and, and Heidi, tell, tell us about your, your own uh, involvement. How uh, you, you play the role of, of, of oh, lead Wendy. actress in uh, the story about Wendy. You, you are Wendy with your life going in all different directions. <laughs> uh, some would say it might be the classic soap opera. You don't know. Uh, but we, we, won't, we, won't, we won't tell people, tell people the story. But uh, what has drawn you into, into this direction? Um, I know we were talking earlier. It's just... I think sometimes, I guess everyone could relate to the fact that we may not necessarily be the best at expressing ourselves and we're always trying to, I guess, find out who we are, you know, why we react to certain things, why we do the things that we do. And a great, I guess, medium of expression is through the arts and I will say it to everybody. Since back when I was with um, Belmont Theatre Workshop with Albert Laveau and Lila Passad, it, it's just such a a euphoric release to be able to kind of hone in on what you're feeling and express it and I would recommend it for everyone else I think it's therapeutic that's why I do it and there, there are many who have a view that the movie thing is kind of flighty flighty is it you know, have plays and things that are much more intense and so on um, what was what is your own experience like working uh, on a film uh, it's, it's a relatively short film 40 minutes yeah. uh, but but what what has the experience been like for you so far in the acting business? Um, it's exciting working. Fortunately, we just kind of the cast and crew is where we have this dynamic relationship. We all get so nobody along. So nobody one another and things. Of saying, course, you know, <laughs> like, I just to like a family. We yeah. are yeah. literally like a, family. like a family. You have no idea. We'd be like ah, at one mm. moment and then the other moment. We're like I love you. You know, we really truly are like brothers and sisters. We could not ask for a better team. I mean. Carla, um, um, Anthony, just Kevin, Anthony, Sasha. Kevin, Sasha, Leslie. It's just, uh, we, we got to work with some fantastic people. Jenny, Kalu, just Ian Gill, Marcia Henville, yeah. just. It's oh, the way you're gushing, it's only like you yeah. have the award in your hand. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're, you're running out of time no, to see all the names for the drag. We have to. They've yeah. just been so fantastic and supportive that we and have to mention you, them. You want to share the moment with everybody. Like it's not just it's not just hiding me. This like I keep we saying. Wish they could we wish we, we could all be here talking about the film because everybody who is involved is so passionate about it. Well. The, that passion, what, do, what does that mean as far as uh, your involvement in the film industry in Trinidad and Tobago? Do you think that, the, that there is scope for your development here in TNT? Absolutely. Yes, I think I am Santana proved it. <laughs> I mean, I know it's puppets and all, but there, there is a demand for Trinidadians want to see themselves. We want to hear, each, we want to hear our accent. You know, I, I'm sick of playing on TV and watching a lot of foreign programs. Why can't we have local programs that have a high quality? We, and I think Wendy, we proved that. We were so meticulous in terms of the, the acting and the lighting. 5 a.m. mornings. We rehearsed for two months. <laughs> before. Before, to make sure everything. when we shot everything was, was down pat and we shot according to schedule. So we tried our best. I mean, it's not perfect. It's my first film. I don't think it's the best thing ever, but I think that... <laughs> For the effort we put into it. Are you a perfectionist? Are, are you the, the, the kind of director that they say yes. would we'll do take after take <laughs> after take after yes. take and could care less oh whether people are dead tired? <laughs> yes, in other words, the fact that 12, you hesitated means 12 yes. 12 hours later, 5 in the morning, we're I, I all know, exhausted and Sean's like, one more take. <laughs> I, know what I, I know what I wanted. He and did. I, I'm a Virgo. I think Heidi's a Virgo too. Mm -hmm. So we all, I think we're actually, all perfectionists. It's I think good that you're crew, yeah. a decisive person. When you're decisive, things get done to the quality that you want to do. So them. are you intolerable then? Are you, are you <laughs> the other no. side of it? Because you're such a, such a perfectionist that they say, oh God, give me a break now, man. It's a time to go home. People Heidi, tired. Let Heidi can answer. Uh, but <laughs> what is it like working in, in, in that sort of environment? Because.